Hi, this is John McDermott with a brief introduction on how to use the Windows NetStat command to discover open and connected network ports. NetStat is a common network debugging tool. I'm only showing today part of the Windows NetStat functions. There are others, but we'll talk about them at another time. Unix-like systems also have a NetStat command, but the arguments may be different. There are six common forms of the NetStat command. Some arguments may be combined with others at different times. First, there's NetStat with no arguments. That displays a system's current network connections. Next, we have NetStat minus A, which shows all connected connections, active or not. NetStat minus B so shows the corresponding executable for the given port. NetStat minus F shows the fully qualified domain names for foreign addresses, that is, addresses on other computers. NetStat minus N shows numbers instead of names. NetStat minus O shows the associated process ID. And we can watch the active display of ports opening and closing and in use using TCP view from Microsoft Sys internals. Okay, now let's take a look at the netstat command in action. Now if I type netstat with no arguments, that shows all the active connections. And there are none, so we see nothing here. Now if I type netstat minus A, we'll see all open ports. You'll notice there are a lot of them. Some are labeled TCP there in the first column under protocol, and some are labeled UDP. We see the local addresses. 0000, 0, 0, 0 means this machine, and colon is followed by the port number. Foreign address, you'll notice is L31. That's the machine on which I am, and there's no connection. The TCP ports show as listening. Now if we go down a little bit further in that, in that list, you'll see some have colon, uh, square bracket, colon, colon, square bracket, a colon, and then a port number. Those are IPv6 ports waiting for a connection. If we scroll down a bit, we'll see the UDP ports that are open. Again, zeros for this machine, and left square bracket, colon, colon, right square bracket for this machine version 6. What I'll do now in another window is connect to the FTP server. Now I'm connected. If I do a netstat again, you'll see a connection, a TCP connection, my port 1038 to the FTP port on the host LT server. You'll also see this connection if I do netstat minus A again. Notice it there in the third line from the top. The same 1038 LT server and FTP showing the state established. Now, Let's do netstat minus b and look at what program it is that I'm using. Here you'll see I'm using ftp.exe. That's the name of the FTP executable. Now let's do FTP um, netstat minus f and show the fully qualified domain name. You'll see it's ltserver.l3.com. But if I only want the addresses and the port numbers, I can do netstat minus n. Netstat minus o will show me the process ID of the ftp.exe process. That 1644 is the number the operating system uses to identify that particular process. Now, let's take a look at TCP view 
Well, first, before we look at TCP view, let's combine a few of these options. Let's look at netstat minus O. We'll add some fully qualified domain names and maybe show the executable itself. I used minus OFB, but I could have used minus BFO, minus BOF, or any order. You'll notice here it shows the process ID, the fully qualified domain name, and the name of the process itself. Now let's take a look at that information using TCP view. There it is. You'll see the FTP near the top. And if I exit the FTP process in the other window, you'll notice it turns red and goes away because TCP view is a live view of the ports that are open. You'll see it has the process name, the process ID, the protocol, the local address, the local port, the remote address, the remote port, and in the case of TCP, the state of the connection. There are a few more columns, but I've blocked them off because they don't relate as much to what we're doing today. Well, I hope this brief introduction and demonstration has given you uh, some information you can use when diagnosing network connections, finding out what's connected, and finding out what it's connected to. Thank you very much.